Now, so far with Reloader TS 15.5, we've shot some 223, some 22250, some 6 arc, and some 308. And there hasn't been much to complain about. We've shot some good groups. We've had consistent velocities, good SD numbers for the most part, and the temperature stability test went pretty well. So today I want to test it in 6.5 Creedmoor. Alliant provides quite a bit of 6.5 Creedmoor data. There's 10 different bullets from 90 grains all the way up to 140 grains. What I want to shoot today is the 130 grain Burger Hybrid OTM Tactical. A few months back we tested this bullet with Vitavori N555 and the groups were incredible. Like really, really good. Now on the Alliant load data, they list 130 grain hybrid match burger. And I think this is the same bullet. I don't know burger's whole lineup, but it looks like they've got 130 grain VLD target and a VLD hunting, and then they've got this hybrid OTM tactical. So they show a max charge of 37.9 grains. So here's what I want to shoot today. I'm going to stay just a little bit below that max. I'm going to go up to 37.5. We'll shoot three tenths of a grain increments. So we're starting at 36.3. I tried to keep all of the other components exactly the same as they were whenever we tested Vitavori N555. So I'm shooting CCI BR4 primers in Starline brass. And I seated the bullets using my uh, Wilson die set. With this, this is the seating die right here. It uses the, the Arbor press. So the die was already set and locked down for this bullet, so. It was super easy, so easy I didn't even film it. So for overall length, I wanna go with 2.675 inches, which is what we found as the best overall length in those previous videos with this bullet. So just try to keep everything the same. We had a winning combination there with Vitavori N555. So tried to keep things the same, we're just swapping in a new powder. Now I wouldn't say this is the perfect 6.5 Creedmoor powder, unless you're interested in some lighter bullets. You know, in, in Creedmoor, with the heavier bullets, you get great performance with uh, H4350, all, all of the different uh, IMR 4350, Accurate 4350, the entire 4350 class of powders, IMR 4451, or even Reloader 16. Any of those options are gonna give better velocities with your 140 grain bullets and heavier. But whenever you try to go lighter, whether it's like 130 like today or a 123 or a 120, you quickly run out of case capacity. So that's where a powder like Reloader TS 15.5 is gonna have a lot of utility in 6.5 Creedmoor. Like Alliant provides data from the 90 grain Spear TNT all the way up to a couple of 140 grain bullets. So I guess you'll just wanna make sure that it's right for the bullet weights you're wanting to shoot. It'll certainly work for everything, but it's really gonna excel with lighter bullets. So I think that's about it. Like that's, that's the rundown of what we're doing today. So let's head out to the range. Okay, so our target is at 100 yards. This is an Aero Precision M5E1 setup with a Vortex Viper PST Gen 1 on top. We'll be shooting on 24 power, getting velocities with the Lab Radar Chronograph. And we're using the Shot Marker Electronic Target System up here. I just mounted this scope on this gun, so we need to sight it in real quick. So let's do that first. Let's just take one shot at the center of the target and see where we're hitting. Hopefully we're pretty close and hopefully we don't hit my camera setup. That would suck, but it wouldn't be the first time. Okay, so I was cheating off to the right a little bit and aiming right about here. So I brought the scope down two minutes, we should be in good shape. Okay, let's move over to this dot. And if our zero looks good, we'll just go ahead and shoot a nine shot group here with our first charge of 36.3. These ciders are that same load. The first velocity was 2464. So that's nice and low, feeling good about that. Let's go ahead and shoot these out of the magazine. Might as well.
Man, this barrel loves this bullet. That is a really good start, 0.84 inches. Now, one thing I noticed after my second shot, so this shot right here, I realized my focus and parallax was messed up. So I'm wondering if that first shot might have been parallax. I usually check that every single time I sit down and readjust and, and check my focus knob, and I just didn't this time. Didn't really change the group, right? So it's 0.84 inches with those, and it's the same with that one, so it doesn't really matter. Man, that's awesome. So I'm not sure if it's the cold barrel, I assume it probably is. So our velocity numbers look terrible, and I think it's mainly due to the first shot. The first shot was like 50, 50 feet per second slower than the rest of them, or more than 50. I'm gonna try and delete that shot, and we'll see. Because right now we've got an extreme spread of 120, and a standard deviation of 32.5. So that didn't really help much. It brought the standard deviation down to 24, but that's still pretty bad. Okay, next up, five shot group, 36.6. Oh no, well that sucks. Yeah, working on a 0 0.6 without him. Yeah, it was a 0 0.60 without that guy, but 0 0.91 inches total. And these velocities are just all over the place. 25.65, that's fine, but our standard deviation went up to 40.4 with an extreme spread of 97. Very weird stuff because, well, first of all, our other videos with this uh, Reloader 15.5, we've been getting really good SD numbers in most stuff, in everything, I think. And I would say maybe my lab radar or something's going on, but with the shot marker, we get the target velocity. Well, you know, individual shots we get here, but then in the top right, we get an average. And those are numbers at the target, and those numbers look crappy as well. Pretty weird. The fired brass has been looking really good. So moving right along, 36.9 is next. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, that's a really good one. 0.39 inches. Somebody explain that. I don't think I've ever seen this drastic of a shift. So velocity 2572, standard deviation 3.9, extreme spread 10. I don't know, folks. That's just bizarre. So awesome group, awesome all around. Okay, so our next dot over, that's where that cider shot I took landed but I've run out of extra dots. So, okay, next group is gonna go at this same dot and we're just gonna to have to know that that hole's already there. Like we can see it right there. Okay, 37.2 is next. That is another really good one at 0.46 inches. And I don't even understand how the velocity, so 2590 and a 3.1 standard deviation, extreme spread of nine. Something, something's going on here. I've never ever seen a load go from going, from being so horrifically bad to as good as it gets. SDs of three are remarkable. Okay, so I've got one more blank dot on my target down there and it's this guy right there so this is our final group 37.5 grains
Okay, so that's not a bad finish. 0.74 inches. I can't help myself. What was I shooting before that last shot? Yeah, 0.49 inches until that last shot. It's just the way it goes, I guess. Velocity 2610, standard deviation 4.9, extreme spread of 12. Very weird, very weird results. Let's get back to the bench and think it over. So I should show you the brass, but I'm too lazy to move my camera right now. Everything looked really good. So this would be the highest charge we shot. And then going down here to the left, didn't notice anything whatsoever. Here's another look at our groups. Man, that third one was a nice one. That was 0.39 inches. Really good stuff. So, you know, I've had a few hours to think about it here, and I still have no clue what happened on those first two groups. Accuracy wasn't bad, but those velocities being all over the place and crazy extreme spreads, I really don't have an explanation. The only thing I could think that I've come up with was that maybe I didn't clean my Charge Master light good enough. It still had a few granules of old powder. Maybe I got some powder contamination because those would have been like, you know, the first 15 shots that I loaded. And then by the time I got towards the end, it had cleaned itself out. I don't know. Like I said on the range, I've never seen a turnaround that dramatic or consistent, I guess, right? So we had bad, bad, and then the rest were good. Sometimes you'll be shooting bad ones and then kind of get a miracle good one. This doesn't seem to be that. So it's pretty baffling. So our top velocity today was 2610. Let me look in my book real quick. So when we were shooting Vitavori N555, we topped out at 2720. So we're lagging about 100 feet per second behind, but we still got a few tenths to go up before we hit Alliance max charge. And we didn't really get any signs that things were getting spicy. So we could definitely keep going up here if we wanted to play with this combination some more. So I think that's pretty much it. That was a fun little test. These bullets in my gun just seem to get along really well. And Reloader 15.5 performed pretty darn good. So I think that's it, folks. See you guys next time.